Hello everyone, thank you for joining this new session. Uh, my name is uh, Marc Fondard, I'm in charge of uh, Katia Core Engineering Portfolio and I'm here with uh, Dinesh Kumar. Hello Dinesh. Hello Marc, hello everyone. Um, so today we have a new session around uh, 3D Innovator and more uh, in-depth in the X-Design application. Uh, so, as a reminder, X-Design, it's a web application of the Katia portfolio. Uh, it allows you to do some uh, mechanical design in a web browser without uh, having to install anything. You can access your data and your work uh, uh, anytime, anywhere. And uh, so today we will focus on a very specific functionality of X-Design, which is called Design Guidance. Um, design guidance uses uh, topological optimization to help you to find the right shapes uh, for your uh, for your design, depending on the the load cases that you uh, that you describe. Uh, so we will show you uh, how it works uh, in a few minutes. And just if you are interested in uh, 3D Innovator and Katia X Design. Uh, you can connect uh, to the Katia user community and apply to the uh, 3D Innovator tribe uh, where you could get uh, free trial licenses for 3D Innovator. Uh, you get the link of the community uh, below, the, below the video. Uh, so if you want to, uh, yeah, so it's go.3ds.com slash Katia. Uh, and uh, so if you want to try the product and give us your feedback, you can apply and we select uh, 50 people every month to, uh, to have some uh, trial licenses. Uh, okay, so now let's start with uh, design guidance. So I had Dinesh's screen. So please Dinesh, uh, show us how it works. Okay, hey, uh, so uh, we have uh, key components of uh, motorcycle design here, like uh, the wheel, uh, the frames, and the shock absorber. And today we'll use uh, design guidance to propose uh, the swing arm design uh, that will connect the lower part of the frame uh, with the rear wheel. So let's see how uh, design guidance uh, will propose as the solution. Okay. So we have to go to the design guidance tab and before uh, proposing a design uh, design we need to set up three uh, components that is we have to uh, first set the uh, restraints then we have to apply forces and then we have to uh, limit the boundaries uh, in which the material will be added uh, to to generate the geometry okay so uh, let's start with applying restraints so we'll apply clamps so here uh, these are the mountings so on the frame so let's apply a clamp here so clamp fixes these mountings in the space so we don't want them to to move okay and then uh, yeah uh, and then uh, we have to apply forces so uh, here the ground will push the wheels upward because of the weight of the motorcycle and the rider so the upward force will be acting on the wheels and th that will be shared by both of the wheels and uh, that force will transfer from the wheel to the axle. So uh, we have to apply forces uh, on the axle, uh, axle mounting. So as of now, we'll just, uh, we'll not use a complete model as uh, the more geometry we'll take into account, the more uh, complex the problem becomes and the more time it will take to solve. So as of now, we'll just take the functional surfaces. That is only the mountings to propose as the shape. Uh, as as uh, because of the time constraint, but you can uh, always uh, use the complete geometry uh, when you have time. So let's just hide uh, the uh, the complete uh, geometry except the mountings. So here we have the mountings, and we have already uh, uh, applied clamps here. Now we have to apply forces here. So go to the uh, click on the force icon and here uh, you have choice to apply distributed force or a uh, point force uh, we want to apply distributed force here so apply a force of 600 newton and then we have to choose the faces so we want to apply forces here and then you have to specify the direction so we want the direction to be upward so you can choose the other direction and you can then choose an edge or a, a plane or a flat surface uh, to to set the direction so as of now i'm using xy plane 
and we want to apply the direction upward so right now it is downward so you can just reverse the direction and now it is okay okay and the second set of forces uh, will apply at the uh, soccer absorber mountings so here the same force will be acting downwards so go to the force icon and select the faces and apply the same 600 newton force here go to other direction x y and make sure that the direction is downwards okay so validate okay so basically here we have defined what's the scenario we want to solve it's a kind of a simulation scenario it's the the forces applied to our systems yes so now we have applied the forces so uh, let's make the complete geometry visible so that we can see when the results are proposed uh, with respect to the geometry so the third step is to uh, uh, to define the boundaries of material addition or uh, and uh, to propose the shape so uh, there are two options here that is a new design or redesign so new design we use when there is uh, no ge existing geometry and we want to we want a proposal uh, of the geometry from the scratch and for redesign uh, we use when we have some existing geometry and we want to optimize uh, it by uh, weight reduction so uh, we'll see uh, the redesign uh, by another example uh, a few moments later so let's start with a new design okay okay uh, so in new design there are four tabs so in the settings tab it shows the applied material so we have already applied uh, stainless steel material here but even if uh, user does not apply any material then it takes abs material by default so the next tab is the volume where we define the boundaries uh, in the form of a box so uh, all the material will be added within that box boundaries so you can uh, uh, relocate the box by dragging the center point or you can uh, use these arrows to find adjust uh, some of the um, some of the sides or you can use these scale points to uh, adjust the overall size of the box Hmm. So basically here it's defining what we call the design space. It's the, the space where you can put some material for your uh, for your part. Yes. Uh, and, and if you are lost, I mean, if you are not, if you could not find the location uh, after changing all these parameters, you can just click on auto fit and it will take it back to the uh, predefined position, which is according to the clamps and the force locations. Okay. okay okay and apart from that you if you want some uh, specific uh, values you can enter here like i am entering so okay and after entering this value we also have to take into account the other geometry which is falling that is under the under the design space so we can see that uh, uh, the, the wheel is uh, falling within the same uh, design space where material is to be added so it may happen that the material the design proposed will interfere with this wheel so uh, you have the option to exclude regions so here if you choose exclude regions and choose this wheel then this particular volume will be removed for material addition and the proposed geometry will not interfere uh, with this with this wheel so as of now uh, just to uh, get the results quickly and to reduce the complexity uh, due to the time constraint i am just uh, not using it but you can use it and uh, and check the results okay and the next uh, tab is for symmetry so if you want your design proposal to be symmetric uh, either from the boundaries or at the center uh, then you can choose them and i want to make it symmetric about y axis you can also choose the side you want to generate so click on generate and uh, when you click on the generate the iterative process starts to propose you the optimized solution as per the loads the design boundaries and the material applied okay as it is a web app all the calculation which requires a lot of power is uh, is done on the server side on the platform side so it would be uh, whatever the, the the laptop you are using or the computer you are using uh, all the borrow is done on the on the server. 
Yes, so we have the first shape here and now we have automatically moved to the results tab. So here you can add or remove material as per your design uh, design requirements of flexibility or stiffness. So here we can see that uh, the, the design is proposed. Mm, so it's it giving you a general idea of what should be the, the shape of your uh, of your uh, part, uh, it's a mesh that it's generated. It's a voxel-based uh, algorithm, and uh, from there, then you can start to, to create an exact uh, geometry from what is proposed by the algorithm. Yes, so you can see the full model. There are some display option here. You can also see the mesh uh, display, so you can just validate it and. Okay, so this in this case, we had designed uh, a new geometry from the scratch. It means there was no geometry for the swing arm. And now we will see that if we have some existing components. So here we have the rough geometry of the same swing arm. And we'll see how we can optimize it and how uh, different design will be proposed uh, by the design guidance in this case. Okay. So we'll apply the same uh, restraints here on this location and this one and the same forces. This face and this face. Direction is up for 600 Newton. Same 600 Newton here, reverse direction. Okay, validate. Okay, and uh, one more thing uh, I want to show that in design guidance, uh, you can also have uh, load case manager where you can uh, also define your different scenarios. So here uh, we have uh, applied two forces, so which are shown here. So there might be cases, uh, scenarios where only one force is acting at a time. So maybe in the one, first load case, we want only load one is acting. And there may be a case when the only the second load is acting. And there may be a case when both the loads are acting acting at the same time hmm. so then validate and then you have to go to the redesign so go to the redesign and here you see that here we have to choose the geometry so here we are choosing the geometry and the boundaries of the geometries will be uh, act as a design space here rather than a box which we were uh, uh, using for the new design and here, then you have to choose the target mass reduction. And after that, you have load cases here. So uh, you can choose all the load cases, uh, or you can choose any specific load case. So we, as of now, we just choose load case three, uh, uh, which we use for the design, new design. So let's use this. And then you can also exclude regions here as well. And from the symmetry, we use the same symmetry about y axis, and then generate. Okay. So here, uh, yes, yeah. So here it uh, it is a it is more complex geometry as compared to new design. So there it took like thirty to forty seconds. Here it will take like uh, one and a half minute approximately to show you the results completely. But here we have the preview. So uh, just to save the time, so I have already generated results for this. Uh, so let's just see how what we what more you can do with those results so you can see that it's a completely different uh, geometry proposed by design guidance as compared to uh, the new design because it was uh, because the design space was uh, not the same okay and once you get this uh, uh, the mesh then you, if you want to uh, you have to create the complete uh, uh, geometry uh, 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 for this so you you can also use uh, uh, you can also create profiles so here uh, the it will be a kind of a section planes which will intersect the mesh and then you can uh, map the intersection through circle or rectangle or maybe polylines or maybe through slots so you can also in increase the number of uh, planes here so that you get these cross-section profiles here which can be used uh, to regenerate this geometry parametrically so let's make it one and then you can if you add these profiles these uh, profiles are added as a sketch in the design manager 
Okay, and so this tool is uh, just helping you to create a parametric part based on the mesh that is uh, that is proposed. So you can create some exact geometry uh, with exact dimension uh, following the proposal from the algorithm. Okay, so I think uh, it may take a couple of minutes more to propose the complete solution, but we can have a glimpse how uh, it is respecting the boundaries. So here no material is added like, so it is respecting and I think uh, now we have covered like uh, how to define the constraint, the forces and the design space and how to use the same design guidance for a new design from the scratch or to optimize an ex existing design by mass reduction. Okay, so thank you Dinesh for this uh, demonstration. So once again, uh, design guidance it's a very unique tool uh, for in for for x design and 3d innovator uh, so just as a reminder 3d innovator it's the entry point of the katia portfolio uh, it's composed mainly of a web app which is called katia x design uh, and so as you can see you have all the tools that you would need to create some some uh, some great uh, mechanical shapes and assemblies and so on um so that was it for today uh, if you have some question further question uh, maybe you can use the comments in the katia user community so once again if you want to connect uh, it's free you just need to create a passport uh, it takes uh, just uh, two minutes and then it's go.3ds.com slash katia and where we can uh, we can you can review this uh, this live and all the previous episodes and ask us uh, some questions we'll be happy to uh, to answer uh, okay thank you guys that's it for today thank you dinesh thank you mark thank you everyone and uh, talk to you soon goodbye bye bye